we're going to make an iron farm that produces a lot of iron and we're also gonna detail our base so stick around to the end of the video and make sure to hit subscribe and like and let's go in today's episode we're gonna be building an iron farm but before that i want to show you something i've been busy so this is our factories right this is the inside factory in our, in our power station and the new building that I just finished building which is a recreation of this building. I built this building using the schematic cannon which is surprisingly easy to make. This is the recipe for the schematic cannon. Basically it requires two smooth stone, a dispenser, strip out logs or any logs and two blocks of iron and you need a schematic table for to copy and paste your quote-unquote files to it so you're gonna put the schematic right here and press this then click check and that will give you your structure and you need your structure to be pasted before you can print it out and put it in the cannon and this requires gunpowder to power it up i think it requires one gu one gunpowder for 400 block don't quote me on that please i don't know so let me give you a tour of the new building oh and i'm missing a couple of blocks so let me give you a tour of this place. First, I kept this display board because I want the information displaying here and how much iron we're making. And here is gonna be the factory right behind here. This is all the magic's gonna happen. And then the conveyor belt, we're gonna send items through here to a chest or an item vault. I don't know. I'm not sure of the design. And this is, quote unquote, the drive bay area, which is connected to the underside farm and yeah that's basically it <laughs> for the tour for the iron farm i don't know what is the design i've looked up some tutorials in youtube and how to create an iron farm basically the principle is so basically to get iron you need first cobblestone and then cobblestone gets crushed and then turns into the mill or crushing wheels and turns into gravel when you have the gravel you need a fan to wash the gravel out to get yourself some iron and flint once you have the iron nugget you need a crushing machine like this one but instead of belts you need a basin under the pressure machine to get yourself some iron basically you need nine iron nuggets to make one iron ingot so you know how to make an iron farm the problem is how to construct it well i don't know that's why i'm giving myself some creativity here so i'm gonna work on a design that will fit right here and i'll be right back with you guys Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So guys, we're back and I have finished the iron farm and let me show you. So what I have done here, this massive construction that I built to fit in this space is not the most... I will preface this in advance. This is not the most efficient machine or nor the cheapest machine to make. Basically, I have built this machine on what I learned in Create, um, which clearly says that I didn't learn enough. But it's working and I'm happy because I work on this for one and a half hours or maybe two hours. I don't know. I lost track of time. I started recording at five. Now it's eight. Yeah. Maybe three hours or two hours or one and a half. Maybe. I don't know. Let me give you a brief tour on what I've built. So the power for this machine is getting from the... It's getting from our power factory right here. And it's going through a line down there. Let me show you. Let me go to cheat mode real quick. Just free cam. If you go down here... As you can see it's connected all the way through here to our power factory i'll explain that sound in a bit what i have done here is basically there's a cobble generator on both sides getting crushed getting drilled by drills 
and then the cobblestone is getting crushed by this massive crushing wheels as you can see and it's not cheap to run this let me preface there are eight of these in this tiny room eight of them crushing all of them cobblestone and then the gravel will go down here to this conveyor belt which is getting washed as you can see by the fans down below oh i don't want to do that as you can see there's fans down below blowing water to wash them same as the side and then power is getting straight through here powering these conveyor belts right here and there and then the power is continued running through here goes up to the crushing wheels same as here oh next i attach a rotational speed controllers through the drill so it mines slowly so that the crushing wheels can keep up with the load this is where i made a mistake because i'm trying to figure out for a half an hour what did i did wrong why is it not falling down it's because the drills are too fast for the crushing wheels so i've put this rotational speed controller right over here and made the drills slow and that solved the issue as you can see it says to 15 right now i could set it to lower but it's working at 15 oh the like it's working at 15 and this chest is hooked up to three brass funnels this is filtered going in with flint and iron nuggets this brass funnel is dumping out flint as you can see right there this brass funnel is filtered by iron nuggets which is getting sent to here to the crushing machine where it's getting crushed and sent to this chest and forms an iron ingot as you can see for those veterans of great watching are screaming right now like why did you why didn't you use this or that or this or that it's easier it's it's cheaper and most of all it doesn't stress you out and by the way to, to obtain these crushing wheels um you need this mechanical crafter which i have hooked up which it's really cheap to make basically this is the crafting recipe as you know i'm rich and andesite alloy right now so you need planks and stone and andesite alloy which is pretty easy it gives you two crushing wheels and it's basically a glorified crafting table so basically that's it for the iron farm and it's lagging my game like crazy i think you can't hear me right now but let me explain to you what this is so basically i have extended all my generators creating 43,000 stress units as you can see right here by the stress meter um we're currently the network stress is high the remaining capacity of this machine is 8064 basically it's a lot those crushing wheels are taking a lot of stress and as you can see i built all of these modular diesel generators which i'm gonna put silencers aka mufflers on them to make them silent because it's so loud in here i can't even hear myself speaking what i want to do now is decorate this part of the of my base right here basically connecting the iron farm and the andesite farm right there right right there and right there to make this place look a lot like a factory so i'm gonna do that right now and just like and we're back as you can see there's a lot of detail let me show you so what i did is chip some gravel basically there's a lot of gravel using the chip mod as you can see there's dirty gravel rough gravel dusty the gravel gravel and sift gravel basically i have a gravel generator right there so i don't need to worry about gravel and i use frame button as to look as rocks and then i place some frame slopes and then some corner frame slopes and then some frame board some floorboards i mean using this and it turns out really really nice it looks like industrial look which i like which i was going for so you can see right here the details this is like oh and a big shout out for foxy no tail for giving me the inspiration to do this because i watched this video and i found it very very detailed and he gave me an idea to do this so 
kudos to you. And I'm not good at building custom trees. I tried my best, but this is my best. So yeah, don't laugh at it, please, because it will hurt my feelings. Let me go to free camo right here. As you can see, I'm right here. Hi. So tell me guys how it looks. Um, to be honest, um, I think it looks really, really nice. It looks like an industrial area. And in the future, I'm going to de deconstruct this whole thing because there's going to be a road going down right here and right here. As you know, I have flattened this area out as you, as you can see. And if you notice it in the start of the video, leave a comment down below saying you notice it. And for the next episode, there's a sneak peek on what I'm going to do right over there. And I think it looks nice. It looks very, very industrial. I'm going to do the same over there and probably the same over here because we're going to have buildings all along this area and all along this area and all along in this area. And I'm planning to make a quarry right down here. That's basically the plan. Look at our starting base it looks kind of nice actually now we have details like that oh it looks so good it looks so so good and that's gonna be it for me guys hope you enjoyed the video and if you did hit that like button and subscribe and comment down below what you think and this is me chili signing out